Hi, my love, beautiful souls. It's Mystic Pulse 11, 11, back with you, bringing dark into light. Time must read. Please take what resonates and leave it does not fit for somebody else. Collect everything on frame. Bits and pieces may fit for you. Bits and pieces may fit for somebody else. Okay, I'm going to just do a quick reading. I, w I don't know why I always say that, you guys. I don't know. Say a quick reading. It's going to be probably the last reading of the night. Um, It's late. It's 10 o'clock at night. Um, Cherish just finally fell asleep after I just finished cleaning my kitchen living room, trying to look for that damn mouse. And then I had, like, an aha moment, you guys. <clears throat> Talking to my little sister. I had an aha moment, and I got these goosebumps in my thing. And I was literally on my floor washing. Like I, I said before in my readings, is I, I get on my hands and floors, or my hands and knees to mop my floor. Um, my mom used to do it, and I have a small kitchen area. And literally, I got up and was reading a message, and I had this epiphany moment. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I don't feel like this mouse is a bad thing in my house. Like, I don't. I don't get a bad feeling about this mouse at all. This mouse, and then I'm like, oh my god, Cinderella. You know, I'm thinking about, like, Cinderella. And, you know, she was friendly with mice and stuff like that. And I was telling my little sister Angie, I was telling her that um, if it didn't poop everywhere and it didn't, like, destroy my whole house or whatever, I'd probably want to keep it as a pet. <clears throat> and, like, you know what I mean? Like, because I'm really, I love animals, I love things. And I used to have a pet rat when I was younger, a white pet rat. And I absolutely loved it. But it's when you don't know where it's at and it's like, you know, and you're finding things and, like, mice lead into more mice and more mice and stuff. So, um... I'm like, dang, and I was on my hands and knees, and I'm like, oh my god, Cinderella, and thinking, like, the evil stepmother and stuff like that, um, thinking somebody possibly has an evil stepmother or a step-parent and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, and I have also birds, like, sit outside my window that wake me up in the morning and stuff like that, so, I don't know, it just, I, it could have been, it could have been, like, a, I don't know, a message for someone else as well, so, uh, yeah, what was, and then I was thinking, like, I don't have a cat, but the downstairs, they have a cat, and then I all of a sudden had such thought of, like, Lucifer, and, like, somebody's trying to be sneaky, and, like, and then, like, I read comments, and people are saying, like, invaded privacy, and I feel like that, um, I do, I feel like I'm being a little bit invaded by my neighbors, like, I feel like it's just too much sometimes, so, I don't know, but let's just see what's going on here. Oh, yeah, see, somebody's trapped, stuck trying to get out, okay, trapped, stuck trying to get out, so I don't know. It was just kind of weird, crazy, and, like, thinking of that. But she's like, really? I'm like, yeah, I would... If... if Because it's only one mouse. And, honestly, if, if if this mouse didn't, like, crap everywhere and, like, you know, destroy things, it would be a totally different story. But there's mice, you know, finding mice turds on the floor is not cool. Not cool at all. And, because it can be very, it can be, um, uh, hazardous, you know? So like that. I did get, uh, my husband did get the sticky traps. And he actually got a little mouse trap too. But this mouse is too big to go in. The, and it's not a rat. I think it's a brown mouse. House mouse. Um, But he got the sticky traps. And I put them down. But uh, the mouse, and he got the other mouse traps too. Like they can go in where Cherish won't be able to get to them. But it's too small. Because he thought it was a small mouse. And this mouse ain't small. This mouse, this small, this mouse is pretty good size. Good size. So... Um, let's hope we get it. I really don't want to kill this mouse. That's the thing is I really don't want to kill this mouse. Um, because they're so cute. They're so cute. I don't want to kill them. I don't, I don't like killing things. I don't even kill spiders anymore. I used to kill spiders. I don't even kill spiders anymore. I'll try to catch it on a napkin and I'll throw it outside. So, you know, it's crazy when I watch my dragon eat his crickets and stuff like that. Because I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, only thing I really would kill is, um, flies. I hate flies and I kill flies. The other thing is, um bees okay i'm allergic to bees and i used to kill the bees and now i barely even kill bees anymore i try to um get them out like try to catch them in something and had to be very careful and then like let it outside um other than that i do because i'm allergic to bees if i can't i have to swat it and try to kill a bee because i'm allergic to them so <laughs> someone could be dealing with that again too i'm getting trapped so i'm trying to get out i said i get throw a uh, frog in my throat okay somebody's throat chakra Oh, and I was hearing somebody likes uh, spicy food, okay? Somebody likes spicy food. So this that could be this message for you, um, spicy food. Okay, you could be trapped, tra stuck trying to get out, or somebody else is trapped. Okay, Jesus gives you new life. Allow Jesus in. Heals. Okay, what else going on here? What's going on for the collective? If you're new, I talk a little bit about myself, my life experiences, what's going on in my life, you guys. So I'm just not here for tarot. I talk about other things as well, okay? 
I want to help people. I want people to relate. I want people to understand that, like, they're not alone in the world. So if you're new, because I see a lot of new subscribers, I do talk about my life experiences and, like, about my family and stuff like that. So, okay, what else? Share values. Okay, see? And so you can feel connected. You can feel like you're not alone. Ground yourself, crystals, mother nature, outdoors. Okay, get outside, outdoors. Um, hopefully tomorrow's still nice so I can get outdoors a little bit. Today I didn't realize it was 55 and I should have been outside. But again, I was dealing with a damn mouse. I was trying to catch it. I was trying to find it. I didn't want to kill it, but I was trying to catch it because I didn't want to keep running around. Um, so hopefully tomorrow I can get outside. Lyrian, uh, so you, Spirit's saying, you know, get outside, ground. Crystals, you guys, I have 15% off. Which should be handling my, my shop. Um, I did sell a lot of bracelets. Uh, I'm gonna have to make more bracelets because this is all I have left. I will have that left, and maybe 10 more. So, again, I've been selling things out like crazy. So, if you're interested in that, check that out. 15% off for me handling. You could be a Lyrian oldest soul in known galaxy, played a unique role in creation of humanity, humanity, offering the element of fire. Oldest souls on the Milky Way. Lyrians have really, really old souls. Okay, Lyrians are also cat like, um, very drawn to cat um, energy. Um, different species of cats, you know, panthers, jaguars, lions, tigers, um, no, different cats. I was just talking about cats, too, any kind of cats. I just heard a Siamese cat, so we may have a Siamese cat. Okay, we have somebody could be satanic, okay? Maybe you're getting away from this devilish energy. Maybe you're getting away from devilish people, okay? Um, and you felt trapped, or somebody that is trapped, it could be stuck um, in devilish energy. Yeah, epiphany, aha moment. Okay, there's more to like the Cinderella thing about me on the ground and stuff. Um, it just, it brought me back to my childhood. My, my, I had an evil stepmother and I had evil stepbrother and sisters. So I had evil siblings. Uh, I was treated like shit. So when that happened tonight, it just kind of, it brought me back. I was really, really treated like shit for my sibling, my stepbrother and stepsister and my stepmother. And... Yeah, so kind of, it just brought me back. I was always a slave. I was always doing things for everybody. So when I was doing that, I think it was just a remind me reminder that, you know, you don't, you, you're you not that person. And maybe it was showing me too, maybe a message download that somebody else was dealing with the situation as well. You may feel like you're being taken advantage of. That's what um, I just heard. Somebody being felt like, somebody feels like they're being taken advantage of, okay? Feel like you're doing everything. Feel like you um, are helping everybody out. And like, you're always doing something for everybody else. That's why you feel trapped, okay? Feel like you need a... I'm hearing feel like you need a break. A break, okay? Maybe a little mini vacation. Okay, what else, Garrett? What else is going on here? My candle lighter. Look at this, you guys. Look at how it's... That's weird. Do you see what it's doing? It's dancing. He was just dancing. Look at it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Flames mean different things. Somebody may need to Google flames. I don't remember what dance dancing. I don't have my phone with me. Um, I didn't know what the flames are. So like a high flame means like your intent is gonna work. Your low flame if it goes out, your intent. Um, somebody is sending negative energy at you. So there's something about candle. You may want to Google candle flames. Okay, the meaning of them. Um, Dancing, let me, I'm going to go with my phone, hold on, I want to get that, because that's really significant here. I'm going to leave it on, because you guys watch dance. Okay, how to interpret uh, candle flames. Okay. Dancing candle flame. First one popped up. If your candle flame moves to and fro, it could be because it holds too much power. A spell cast over a dancing flame can tremendously well, tremendously well or terribly wrong. So always exercise caution when your candle flame waves. Okay. The higher a flame jumps, the more resistance it'll have against a spell. The shorter the flame, the easier casting the spell will be. All I did was like the blue candle for peace, harmony, and balance. Okay? I lit it right before I started this this reading. And so I that's what I lit it for. Okay? I lit it for peace, harmony, and balance. That's what I do with the blue candles. Um, 
and bringing truth. So it's dancing high, so that could be a good thing that it, it's working, okay? Um, so if you don't know much about this and you're getting into divination or you're getting into spirituality or like, you know, learning things, flames do mean something, okay? Flames do. Now you can see this one start dancing a little bit more. And I did actually break it off too. So by it dancing like that, it could be a mean and bad thing or a good thing. But I feel like this is a good thing here. I feel like this candle dancing is um, to bring ha balance, harmony, and peace into someone's life and bring truth, okay? Especially, see, this one just went lower. Okay, so you may want to look into that. Okay, that's okay. I thought it was dancing. Maybe it's jumping. I feel like it's dancing and jumping. Jumping flame is a sign of hesitation like the flame. Your energy is unpredictable and may go against your intention. So be cautious before casting a spell as it may go into go in how you, in you intend. So that could be why it's jumping a little bit because um, my, my day has been kind of, you know, chaotic. Everything's off. So I did like, when I lit it, my intent was peace, harmony, balance, truth. Okay? So there comes my hesitation. Okay, and then like they have small candle flame. Big candle flame. Okay, big candle flame means you. Okay, a big candle flame, high steady candle flame may be a sign that you're feeling confident. Your power is at the fullest, and your spell work will reflect that. The tall flame is a message from the spirits that you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Okay, so right there, I lit it. I wanted peace, balance, harmony, truth, and that's me being confident. Allow you know, knowing that it's going to happen, and look at it just slow down. Okay, back up. And that's why there's a high flame there. There's also flick, flick, uh, flickering flame, low flame. Direction of your candle flicker and you could be message from spirit. If you're wondering where, whether or not spell has worked, notice your candle flame is flickering. This could be a spirit trying to send you a message. So this could be also spirit. Flame flickers north. Okay, wow, okay. North, your spell has made a physical mark. If flame flickers energy... If the flame flickers south, energy still surrounds you. If the flame flickers east, a mental part of your spell has taken effect. If the flame flickers west, strong emotions are tied to the spell. It's going, it's flickering different directions. See, now it just went... Okay, if I look at this, it, this way would actually be south, but I'm looking at it like... East, but that's going south. Um, so it's doing it all. And see, now just look at it, just slow down. Now it's going... West, but would be north if I'm facing the other way. Strong emotions are tied to the spell, so it's working all of it. And it's crackling. Okay, so now it's crackling. A popping or crackling flame could signify a spiritual argument. If you've asked the spirits a question that indicates negative response, perhaps multiple spirits are fighting with one another or a single spirit feels it's towards you. Could also mean that your personal dealing with communication issues. Take a moment to reflect on your social connections and ask. But this is a woodwick, so woodwicks, um, no matter what, woodwicks um, crackle. Okay? Yeah. So there's different meanings. Sputtering, bright candle flame. This is a bright candle flame. Um, spirit is trying to ca uh, capture your intention. Perhaps you've cast a spell with lots of power and asked a specific question. Either way, the spirit's letting you know that they've heard your plea. So, spirit has heard my plea. So that's the thing, because I just said, um, peace, balance, and harmony. There's also heart-shaped candle flame. Dual flames. Dual means split energy, okay? If there's dual, it's split energy. There's smoking flame, which is not smoking. Smoke means um, air. Black is a sign of negative energy. White smoke indicates positive. There's blue flame. Okay, there's blue flame, red flame, the white flame, black flame. High flaming candles are a sign of spirituality. So again, high. If the candle grows bigger and bigger, it becomes you're surrounded by positive energy. Okay, so it's gotten bigger and bigger. Okay, and it's literally like going dancing, so I know that was a little bit longer, but somebody needs to learn that, okay? Somebody needs to read more about that. It could be significant to somebody here. And there's no air coming through, like I was just talking. And the wick is even long. Okay, 
some reason full regrets wish they did things differently I hope that helps somebody, especially if you're lighting candles. That's why I've said before to you guys. I said that if you light candles, you have to have a positive intent. If you're lighting a candle, you don't, okay. Spell work isn't always what you think it is, okay? Spell work, magic isn't always what you think it is. It isn't like witches going around a circle, warlocks going around a circle, doing rituals and stuff like that, okay? Spell work is we're actually doing that unconsciously, okay? Our subconscious. So when we light a candle, any person, any person that lights a candle, make sure you have a positive mindset okay a positive intent same thing i said this before a long time ago smoking cigarettes smoking weed smoking dope okay lighting that lighting that lighter lighting this flame this lighter you're this is fire magic candle is fire magic okay you may not realize that but you're doing fire magic every human being has done some kind of fire magic not even realizing it lighting a stove a gas stove lighting a grill lighting a fire a bonfire and you whatever you're thinking in that moment you're causing that okay you're creating that it's called fire magic, okay? I didn't realize this. So when I was smoking dope, methamphetamines, okay? Or my husband, when we were doing that, we had a bad thoughts. So bad things were happening in our life because we were lighting that, that stuff up and our minds were not thinking clearly, okay? We were thinking negative about our lives, okay? All that stuff. So we were creating that, okay? When I, I didn't realize this until I stopped smoking dope. I stopped, stopped smoking dope and then... um. I was smoking a cigarette one day and I learned about fire magic and I was learning about fire flame and I'm like, oh my gosh, every time I lit the cigarette, if every time I lit that cigarette, I had to make sure I have a positive mindset because if I had a negative mindset or if I was thinking a negative thought, it was, um, I was manifesting that I was creating that it was, it's fire magic. So every time I lit that cigarette from going forward, I, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. It's been almost two years. Um, I made sure I had a positive thought, okay, a positive thought. When I light a candle, I make sure I have a positive thought. When I, I don't have a gas stove, but when I light the stove, like any kind of fire, um, my incense, my sage, I have a positive thought, okay? I make sure I have that positive thought, that intent, because whatever we put into lighting something, it's an intent. Just like when you take a shower or a bath, that's water energy. When you're doing dishes, if you're thinking negative, it's, it's, um, if you're doing dishes or you're taking a shower and you're thinking negative, you're working with water element. So now you're doing water magic, okay? And you want to have a positive thought. So when you're working with air, water, fire, and earth, you want to make sure you're having positive, no matter what, you want to have positive thoughts, okay? I said this before, mirror magic. When you're sitting in front of a mirror and you're looking in front of that mirror and you look at yourself and you say you're ugly every day, oh, I'm ugly, I have crooked teeth, I, I, I have um, zits on my face, I'm not beautiful. You're creating that, okay? You're manifesting that. So every time you look in the mirror, brushing your teeth, brushing your hair, washing your face, whatever you're doing, flossing your teeth, putting your makeup on, shaving, have a positive thought, okay? Say, I am beautiful, I am gorgeous, I am um, confident, I am strong, I am forgiving, I'm loving, I'm loyal, okay? Have that positive mindset, okay? Um, because you're creating that every time you look in the mirror. That's why they say cover up mirrors at nighttime too because they're portals, okay? Mirrors are portals, okay? It's a reflection of yourself. So when you're looking at that mirror and if you're having a negative thought, and towards somebody else or yourself, you are a reflection of that, okay? And you're creating that reflection as well. So you want to look in the mirror. You don't want to be thinking of other people either. You know, the dancers, when they're dancing and the hip-hop dancing or choreography and they're dancing in that mirror, if they're thinking positive, positive things are going to come manifest. If they're thinking negative, negative things are manifesting. People don't realize that, okay? Because they're, they're not woke, okay? They're not woke. They're not realizing consciously that they are creating things. So having positive thoughts. Okay, if you smoke weed, positive. When you're lighting that that weed, clear out energy. Just say, I clear out the energy. I'm happy. I'm loving. I'm kind. I'm a good person, okay? Whatever you're doing, using that fire, water, air, whatever it is, earth, grounding, when you're going outside, positive, okay? Just having a positive mindset, redirecting your mindset, okay? Because somebody's in full regrets, okay? Somebody wished they did something differently. Okay, I hope that helps somebody. Shine bright like a diamond. See your third eye. Intuition, imagination, wisdom, detachment, discernment, okay? Inspiration. Your third eye is wide opening up. Wide open. You're seeing people for who they really are. You're seeing these demonic people, these these um, divine pe individuals, okay? Divine or demonic. Karma's a bitch, okay? If not, I'm hearing somebody's receiving some good karma. Because okay, you changed your lifestyle. Somebody changed a lot about themselves, okay? So you, there's good karma coming. You're your own best friend. 
watching the sunset or sunrise with you. Child distractions. Well, that's coming up for me right there. Empire of the Collective too, you guys. Child distractions, which you guys, my daughter has been distracting me. She has been, oh my goodness. She has been keeping me busy on my toes. That's all I have to say. She's been keeping me busy on my toes. You've bossed up. Okay, that fell in my lap. I was going to put these cards back, but then Spirit told me not to. You access your spiritual gifts. Somebody from your past or somebody uh, is out of control. Somebody's out of control with magic. Okay, they don't know what they're doing. Somebody doesn't realize what they're doing either, okay? They don't realize they're lighting a candle or they're looking in the mirror. They don't realize that they're doing this and they're out of control because somebody's really negative. I'm hearing somebody's really negative looking into the mirror, looking stuff, so they need to change their mindset. You have your ancestors helping you, protecting you, watching you. Guiding you, working behind the scenes, waiting in the stars. Okay, whatever's happening, it's meant for you, okay? It was already signed before you came here, okay? You signed a contract before coming here. Social media, somebody could be a social media influencer, okay? Or just on social media. Okay, remember, um, don't be on social media for more than an hour or two. Like they say, screen time, because it actually can um lower your frequency, your vibration, and keep you in a... Um, negative energy, okay, uh, lower vi vi vibration, okay, so, um, one to two hours, you know, balance it out, you know, get off of it, when you're on TikTok, YouTube, even YouTube, okay, watch one show, two show, whatever, no more for an hour, two hours, okay, and that includes TV too, okay, somebody could be a cook, this is supposed to be manufacturing, but I'm hearing somebody's a cook, a chef, okay, somebody cooks things, okay, somebody's a bake, they bake, it could be last name cook, we have God coming right out. Look at, I haven't even shoveled all these. These are falling out. God. Okay, the most high. God within you. Batman energy. Somebody loves Batman. Somebody may have a Batman tattoo. Somebody works with metal. It's a scrap metal, but I'm hearing somebody works with scrap, scrap metal. Okay, I don't, it fell back in there. Okay, somebody works with metal. Somebody does metal working. Okay, metal necklaces, like I've tried, I do some, I haven't done it for a while, I did it when Cher's born. I created that, I made this necklace, this one's mine. Okay, somebody does stuff like this, okay, they do it on a regular basis, this is their, their job. This is one of the best ones I've done, and I'm keeping it for myself, it's amethyst. Um, but yeah, somebody does metal working, okay, this is something I bought before. Where's this one? So somebody creates these kind of things, okay, agates, and wires, I didn't do this one, this one's way too good, the tree of life. Okay, somebody works with um, copper wire metal work. Okay, somebody could have a felony. Maybe you're walking away from this. Maybe um, you felt trapped. I don't know why it came out. A felony charge, or somebody has a felony charge in the spiritual realm. Okay, unless we're talking about a cook manufacturer, somebody um, involving with drugs could be getting a felony. I don't know why this is coming out now, but federal indictment flew out. Okay. Some of you may know. Next, this could be put on social media and someone will be subpoenaed. So we have some different energy coming out now because then we have murderer too. And raid. So I feel like this is your top energy up here and this is something you're dealing with down here. Okay. Your energy is up here and this is something down here. And God is this person under judgment. Okay. Divine judgment. Okay. I said short reading. It's already 23 minutes. Why? Do, I don't even know why I say this. Every time I try to be, have a short, short reading. Sober. Something sober and clean. Okay, I'm recovery. Okay, I'm in sober. I'm recovery. We have planted evidence. Someone could try to plant evidence on you. Okay. Someone could try to plant evidence on you. Get, set you up for murder. Try to get you raided in the past. Pussy cat energy. Meow. Which we said we were coming out. Spirit told me to take that. I should have took it out. Pussy cat energy came out. Wealthy. Okay, this could be wealthy of like health, wealthy of knowledge. Okay. People think it says wealthy money, but again, 
when you look at wealthy, everyone's like, oh, material, money, and stuff like this. But this is somebody that has, like, wealth of, like, knowledge and health, okay? This could be a karmic lover, okay? This could be a karmic lover that is, um, being indicted, Okay, or try to set you up. Your light triggers their demons and exposes their shadow and triggers parts they don't want to heal. So the karmic lover you had, you trigger them. Okay, you trigger them that parts that they don't want to heal, that they're running from. And they could be trying to hide. Okay, hide. They could be involved with corruption. And you have true love coming in. Okay, you have true love coming in. You could be winning a settlement agreement or compromise or some kind of settlement you may win. Okay, especially if somebody planted evidence on you. Somebody's winning, well, somebody's getting something, winning something. Some of you cut off. Okay, this karmic lover you could have cut off. Ghost them, block them. As I said, something's coming together for you. Okay, reconciliation, spiritual union, soul contract, spiritual union with God, source creator, with your true love. After dealing with all this, this energy is totally changed from earlier. Somebody's about to uh, confess on the verge of confessing to you. Okay, see, I'm hearing somebody's confessing to you that you are somebody try to plant evidence on you. Try to set you up. Set you up for murder. Set you up for a crime that you didn't do. Somebody has some of this information. You may have seen this, feel this, and this is just why the third eye came out. They could have been posting stuff on social media about you. Setting you up commitment, long-term relationship. Okay, there's a, yeah, you have a long-term relationship coming in, commitment. Somebody who has a divorce and, like, they got the settlement. Roller coaster highest highs and adrenaline rush. Somebody could be traveling and going on a roller coaster. Like I said, go on a mini vacation. Okay, somebody likes roller coasters, high rides, okay? Corkscrew, uh, corkscrew is a, a, a ride in Val Valley Fair in Minnesota. Um, somebody likes going on upside-down rides. Okay, somebody likes to ride the, the roller coasters, okay? Karmic. Okay, that this karmic could have been a roller coaster ride too. Ups and downs. Okay, goods and bads. Okay, one moment is they're okay, one moment it's not. Third party lessons, relationships and lessons. And then we have pretending. Okay, yeah, this karmic is pretending fake, living beyond means. Okay, yeah. Legal court paper. Okay, paper filed. So there was some kind of divorce or some kind of situation that was taking place, or like I said, somebody tried to set you up. My phone just beeped. Someone just tried. Someone tried to set you up to take the fall for a murder, take you to fall for some kind of crime, plant evidence on you. If you could have been going, you could have been out at nightlife, gambling, taking a risk, Vegas. Somebody could have been at a casino, and they try to set you up at a casino, play you. I'm here and playing you, take advantage of you. Tells the truth. I fell right out when I opened it up. These are one of my, this is one of my, my favorite deck of cards now. I love how they shuffle. They're just perfect some of that time. My fingers, something. Something happened to my fingers, so it's hard to shuffle now. You're good. There's an X.
Xavier. I just heard Xavier. And next could be getting arrested. There's probably a charge for, um, this X with a false twin flame. You. Getting rusty came out again. Okay, this false twin flame X could be getting arrested. Try to get you arrested. Somebody planted evidence on you or planted something on you. Okay, something about two planting maybe uh, to cause a problem with your true love, with your relationship. Somebody try to plant something like saying that you were cheating or something was going on there as well. So if it's not crime, it's something else. How? Murder fell on the floor. It flew out and fell on the floor. So somebody try to set you up for murder. Or a crime that you didn't that you weren't involved in. Always drunk. Loves animals like I okay, okay, okay. Loves animals, which I was talking about. Mice are so cute. This mouse is so cute, and then it comes out. So you can love animals as well. You don't want to hurt animals. I'm scared of spiders. I hate spiders, but like I said, I won't kill anymore. We have Libra. Libra, you could be a mom. There's a mom. Somebody's an alcoholic. Okay, that could be why they're getting arrested. Someone can't get it up. This X, this 12 false twin flame, can't get it up. Somebody needs Viagra. Pisces. I always get better downloads in the nighttime too, but I can't do readings anymore if my... Daughter, my daughter, my husband's home. It's too hard. My husband actually works late tonight. It's Friday, and he actually works late, so that's why I'm able to do this reading. And I've always gotten more downloads and more clear downloads because it's like not so chaotic and so much going on. I kind of miss doing these late night readings like this. This is late night for me, ten o'clock at night, especially when I've been up all day. We'll do anything for clout or money. So this ex, this karmic lover, will do anything for clout. It could be Pisces, Libra. An X, a U, okay. B, and gay. If somebody can't get it up, it's because they are gay. Okay, they're made. They're not into women. They're into men, so it's hard for them to get it up. Okay. Again, I don't judge. I have a cousin that's gay. I have friends that are gay. I have friends that are lesbian. That's not my choice or my judgment to call. Okay, that's them and between God. But it comes out somebody's gay. This ex could have been gay to false twin and you didn't realize it. You didn't realize your ex was gay or bisexual. Okay. Somebody's a kinky motherfucker. So yeah, we have some different energy coming out now. You're moved on. And a V. A V moved on and money scammers. Okay, this this ex or somebody's a money scammer. Narc empath paragon. Dark empath paragon. So this is a psychic empath. Okay, this is a dark empath. This is a empaths are ones that can like feel things, but they're they're dark. They're evil. Let me say narc. Okay, what else going on here? See, somebody planted evidence on you or planted, like, try to set you up because um, they wanted to cause conflict in your life. Okay, they're trying to abuse a situation. Whip. Okay, somebody could be very sexual, like I said, too, into kinky stuff right there. It says whip coming out. That's why it came out. Kinky rendezvous. But again, like, I'm hearing conflict, okay, trying to cause conflict in your life. Somebody feels like if they set you up, planted evidence on you, that you wouldn't be able to follow in your footsteps. You weren't follow your, following your purpose, okay? Complete your mission. Okay, they thought you would get locked up or that you would stop, you'd give up. Birds gossiping. 
gating or communication. See people gossiping, talking about this. That's why, like, somebody tries to set you up or plant evidence on you because they thought if they could do this, then, like, um, you won't be able to complete your mission. So they could be gossiping about this, okay? Or you're receiving some kind of communication to you. Birds? I was just talking about birds earlier. I have birds outside. I think birds are a good thing. Birds are wonderful. I hate they wake me up, but I love birds. I love birds. Absolutely love them. So when they're waking me up. But, you know, so that's what they mean. They mean dating, gossiping, communication. Try to communicate with somebody. Birdie trip, like, tweet, like, like tweety, tweety bird, tweet. Like, what was it? Tweet, Twitter? Tweet? Because you're, like, gossiping. You're, you're putting things out there. You're tweeting something, okay? Communicating something. That's what I mean. Communicating something. Sweet escape. Transformation. So you went through this transformation. You're merging into something beautiful. Merging into this beautiful butterfly. Butterflies means transformation. Also, the sign from your um, ancestors. Okay, your angels. Okay, this fell on the, the ground. So mountain. Okay, someone can live in the mountains or by the mountains. They're trying to cause delays in your life. That's why I said, like, not wanting to complete a mission. Okay? Cause obstacles in your life. D distractions. Situation, situationship, casual connection, no labels, unclear intentions. Somebody was in a relationship with like unclear intentions in the past. Like this could have been this past lover. Okay, they didn't want labels. They could be outraged now too because they're not seeing like you're going to jail. Material possession. They were. It was all about material, material, material items with them for them. Wow. See? Spirit don't want that to start on fire. TikTok time's running out. Hmm. Huh, backstabbers. Look at all these flew out too. I should take okay, I'm taking them. Backstabbers whole smile on your face whole time they want to take place. Time out run, time's run out. Go get her. Somebody's a hustler. Boss moves. Ambition. You make boss moves, okay? You're gonna watch your footwork. They try to stop you, block you, um, try to make you can't so you can't complete your mission. Somebody could have STD, sexual transmitted disease, the butch burn me, curable, uncurable. Please help me. This also could be spiritual um STD. Keep down the low. Low key secrets, hidden information, hush hush, not showing. I won't tell, you won't tell. Oh my gosh, I am missing a whole bunch of cards. I thought so. I felt like deception. Hidden modes, tricksters, red flags, trying to get by. Blocked. You blocked this person, no way contact social media. See, you blocked this person from social media so they can't see who you are. Okay? And maybe that's why they're trying to plant something on you or set you up. And look at your third eye is open. Because you went through the spiritual awakening. And we have confirmation, uh, karmic lover. Okay, awakening of the mind, DNA activation, phoenix rising, get in the matrix, third eye, clairvoyance, imagination, insight, awareness, seeing, I expand my view, you expand your view. Lower karmic, ne lower negative energy, mental, physical, be verbal abuse, toxic, unhealthy connection. Your new person wants to marry you. Okay, your new person wants to marry you. Wow, this fell out too. It's all the ground. Oh my gosh. I love you. Okay, this new, new, this new person. So, karmic lover, just karmic lover could still be saying that they love you too. Okay, they have money issues. Why do they set you up? I had just seen the hammer. So, we have a lot of different energy coming out now. You know, these, you know this karmic lover was de uh, deceiving you. Other people are deceiving you. That they're backstabbers. And you just want to be loved. And you, you do know that you have somebody coming in, loving you, wants to marry you, commitment commitment this also could be union internal devotion this could be union with god okay union with god be obedient what god asks you to do you follow okay what else going on here ow fudgesicles Your parents are secretly jealous of you, so this parents could have set you up planted evidence on you as well. 
Why don't you take the phone? So we have the universe is sending you messages. Synchronicity is repeating numbers 222-1111-333. So birds, animals, stuff like that. It's time to start that business successful, okay? It's time to start your business. Your homeboy is secretly gay undercover. That came out twice. Wow. That came out twice. In two different decks. Okay. Not a bad thing. Doesn't have to be bad. Okay. Doesn't have to be bad. Oh my. Wow. 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 This person is very judgmental. Some you could judgmental. That's what I'm saying. I don't judge. Judgmental. And someone wishes you harm, death. As I said, they're trying to set you up, set you up for murder. Take a spiritual bath um, to break curses and remove negative vibes and that have been sent your way. Someone is sending you the evil eye, Judas, hidden enemies, backstabbers. There's backstabbers again. Let's get one more. Thank you. You're a witch, warlock, magic spells, voodoo, occultist, okay? You guys, if you really want to go into detail, like, everyone can have access to being a witch. Everyone can have access to being a warlock, okay? We all can have it. We all have these natural talents, gifts, okay? Witches are supposed to be natural healers, okay? They're not supposed to be evil. People portray them as evil witches, okay? Because they're bitches or mean and cruel and, you know, doing spell work, taking away kids' free will, doing those spells. But witches are actually supposed to be healers. Okay, that's what they're here. Warlocks, on the other hand, are a little bit, they're evil. They, they will kill witches to um, become, um, to have powers, okay? Warlocks, usually, they'll want powers, okay? That's how they get stronger and stronger, is to kill a witch. Okay, they I think they are born that way, too. Um, but to have their full power potential, they, have, they kill witches, they go after witches, they attack witches, okay? This person is a hidden angel sent from above. Earth angel, you're hidden. You're hidden. Um, angel from sent from above. Okay, Earth angel. Justice has been served. The karma wheel has turned in your favor. Okay, so whoever planted evidence on uh, planted evidence, try to set you up for murder, or whatever. The karma wheel is moving. Okay, justice will be served. Or right, it says justice has been served. Okay, let's see the names close up. It's already freaking forty minutes in. I'm just going to take 18 new guys because... Maria, Juan, some reason, see, legal troubles, trying to cause legal troubles on your, in your life, legal troubles, Lee, Jerry, Caleb, Point Guard, Philadelphia, Gatsby, Roadrunner, Tucson, Karmic likes messing with married men, <laughs> Bill, L Lair, Okay, someone's lair. Saul. Okay, Saul is a sun god. Okay, or you can say Saul from freaking Breaking Bad, whatever. Um, but this is actually for Saul, sun god Saul. Hercules. He was half, demi half human, half god. So demigod. Hercules. Fire department. Tea time. Something about fire department. Tea time. Wow, my card. See, I'm being protected and you guys are too. King. Butch, be great, Will all will be well, be will be good, peace, happiness, love, light, Manhattan, U.S. Marshals have been hacked, okay, I don't know what's coming out, but it's coming out, somebody could be a skinhead, cowboys, now skinheads are bad, you guys, there are people that are skinheads that are not evil, okay, they're loving, loving, kind-hearted skinheads, I know a skinhead, um, he, he calls him skinhead, and he is such a nice gentleman man, and he believes in God, and he's, 
he's I think he's more Christian than religious or um spiritual, but he's a wonderful, wonderful man. He's been through some shit though. He's been through some shit. Cowboys. Skipper. Skipper. Um Young, Dumb and Broke. Anna Lee. Roseville. Aaron. Quarterback. Somebody can be quarterback. Fuck you, pay me. Somebody wants to be paid back, okay? Somebody's not happy. They got screwed over. I have a different download of that too. Murphy. I feel like that's a whole different download. Germany and London. You guys, church gave me a run for my money. She didn't go to bed till freaking 9.45 tonight. It's been one crazy day. It's Friday. I love Fridays. Fridays is freaking Freya. It's actually got to stay like, um, when you really look into Fridays, it um, represents feminine energy. Freya and Frigg. Divine Goddesses, so I think that's probably why I always love Fridays. And it's like the goes on to the weekend, even though I don't like have a get up for school on Monday or have a job, I start to get my kids up for Monday. I don't know, it's just I've always liked Fridays. I think a lot of people like Fridays. Mondays are the days I hate. Just, or not hate, dislike. Dislike Mondays. Just dislike Mondays. Friday and Saturdays for some reason I just love. And then Thursday. I guess Thursday and Friday, Saturday. I guess Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay, let's close this out. No, I don't like Thursdays. Maybe it's Tuesday. I don't know. We have New Moon and Cancer relax. It's time to relax. Okay? After being set up, after being tree like shit. We have New Moon and Aquarius. Open up, up to change. Okay? Open up to change. We have the solar eclipse coming around the corner as well. On Monday. Last quarter moon in Sagittarius, practice gratitude. Be thankful for what you have. Be thankful you can smell. Be thankful you can taste. Be thankful you can eat, um, see, hear. Okay, because there's people out there that can't taste, can't smell, that can't hear, can't see, um, can't feel. Okay, someone could be paralyzed, they can't feel, you know, it's part of their body. Be thankful for being able to see, smell, feel, touch, all that stuff, okay? Breathing oxygen, you know, talking, being able to talk. Okay, be thankful that you have a home or water or even a cell phone. Because even if you're homeless right now, if you're watching this, you have a cell phone. So be thankful you have that cell phone. Okay, or be thankful if you don't, you know, have a cell phone and you go to a friend's house or you go to the library or whatever. Be thankful that there's a library. Be thankful that your friend's letting you use that phone, okay? Be be thankful for having those little things, okay? We we always forget that. We, we always take things for granted. We take things for granted for not being able, like, people don't realize that. If we didn't have oxygen and we weren't able to breathe, we wouldn't be here. So people take that for granted. People take for granted that we have clothes, okay? We have clothes. We have t-shirts we put on, socks, underwear, okay? Slippers, shoes. Um, we have a bed. We have a pillow, you know? I have this stuff. So people take that for granted, you know? Having a roof over your head. You know, have, have to open, you know, take a shower. You know, one thing about the streets, when I lived on the streets, is one thing I... I hated so much and which I'm so so grateful for having now is having a shower being able to take a shower when I want to take a shower if I don't want to take a shower for two days because I'm so tired or lazy or whatever I don't have to but I have the opportunity I have the access to to take a shower or take a shit or pee whatever you have to do you know what I mean like be thankful for that because there's people out there that don't have toilets they, they have to take a dump in a, 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 a garbage can or a bucket or in the woods you know be grateful that. Be grateful that you have a toilet. I just thought of that. Oh my gosh, I need to be more grateful for that. See, some things I don't even t I take for granted because I just saw that. 
I got, I'm, I'm thankful that I have a toilet here. I have a shower. Because there's people in third world countries and other people that don't even have toilets. In the, or even a sewer. Be grateful that you have a sewer that you can flush your toilet down. Okay? Be grateful for that. I remember when my mom had stopped having running water and she her toilet went flush before she died. Her toilet, toilet went flush. She had dumped buckets of water down. I am so grateful I have a toilet, guys. Just be grateful for that. Be grateful for that. You know, be grateful that you have a fridge to put your milk or your water or your tea or whatever you have, your coffee, whatever. Be grateful that you have a coffee pot, okay? Because we, 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 we lose track of that when we're so busy. We, we take things for granted because we're so busy, you know? Be grateful that you're alive. You're able to wake up every day. It might be a shitty day, but you're alive. That you're walking. Be grateful that you, you, your health is good. You know what I mean? Like, be grateful for that, that stuff. Again, people take that for granted. They take it for granted, and I take it for granted, too. I won't lie. I take it for granted, too. I just realized that I gotta be thankful I have a toilet. That if I need to go to the bathroom, I can go to the bathroom. I can take a shower. I have a sink to brush my teeth. There's people there that don't can't brush their teeth. They have to go down by the river and use river water to brush their teeth. They, or they don't have running water, they can't brush their teeth. And also be grateful for that. Be grateful that you can brush your teeth at night, in the morning, or how many times you want to. Be grateful that you have electricity. If you don't have electricity, be grateful that you have candles so you can light the candle. You know what I mean? Like, be grateful for that stuff. If you're not grateful in this life, okay, and this is something for somebody. If you're not grateful in this life, in the next life, you're going to not have that. And then you're going to realize you're so grateful for that. Okay? Because we are reincarnated. And so not being grateful now in the next life, if you're not grateful for all the things that you have, you're going to have a... Spirit just told me somebody's going to have a really, really bad life. The next one. They're going to have a lot of lessons, a lot of things that they're not going to have. They're not going to have a toilet. They're not going to have a shower. They're not going to have that stuff because of the fact that they're not grateful for it right now. Six, six, six. I don't know if it came out. So redirect that mind. Like I said, rethinking things, okay? Um, Archangels, get rid of your fears, insecurities, um, insecurities in life. Maintain a balance. Rethink what you're doing at the moment. Change in direction. It's time to change in a direction, okay? And that's not just this. When you have 666, it's redirecting your mind, okay? Redirecting your mind. Changing a negative mindset into a positive mindset. Being optimistic. Believing that good is out there. That this world can change. We can change it together, okay? We can change it together. I want to pull one more. One more angel number, please, Spirit. 316. Time for spiritual growth in your life. Divine realm is open to you to make differences in your own reality, okay? You can read John 316 too. A Bible verse, okay? 52. Learning, expanding, encouraged to have faith when facing challenges and obstacles. See, challenge, obstacles, 16, 16. Encourages to ask for assistance to focus on wonderful things in life, family, and house. Something important. Let go of material concerns. Let go of material concerns. God will provide for you. Okay, you have to trust. God will provide for you. Trust. Okay, let go of that. I let go. I surrendered. And I believe that God was providing for me and God started providing for me. I was holding on to it for so long. I'm like, how? I'm not going to be able to, for the longest time, you guys, I'm like, Oh, I do YouTube. I'm not gonna make money. I do Etsy. I'm not gonna make money. I need to have a nine to five job. And Spirit said, No, 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 Jamie. You gotta do the hard. You gotta do the work. You gotta work hard. You will be successful with your Etsy store. You'll be successful on YouTube. You have to trust, surrender. Okay. And I did. I finally surrendered. Leo, creative, vibrant, and leader. Be that leader, okay? Leo, happiness and consciousness too. Excite, excitement, enlightenment, okay? Higher vibration, consciousness. Virgo, support, reliable, and meliculous, okay? Virgo, earth, fire, earth, Pisces, water. Um, imaginative, empathetic, and adaptable. I'll still do the dice, you guys. I know you guys like the dice. Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries, and number six. Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, and Aries, number six. I love it. Wow. This is one of the longest videos I've done in a long time. And I said short video. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, healing. Namaste.